Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to go over the fun time I had trying to get VR working in Linux. So, let me just explain what you're currently witnessing. What you're witnessing on screen is my the closest I got to getting VR to work inside of Linux, specifically my install of Linux, without <laughs> well, I'm about to <laughs> I can't say without hassle because I had no end of hassle at all when it came to this. Now, as you can see here, it is choppy. There is the black is where the ground is supposed to be, and as you just saw there, it says browse Steam. Um, it was trying to tell me I didn't have um any VR games installed. It was trying to tell me I didn't have any games installed, for that matter. Well. First off, that's wrong. I had specifically installed Beat Saber, as well as a few other games that I have have VR capabilities, such as Elite Dangerous. That definitely has it. So does Payday 2. Payday 2 does as well. But in this scenario, what we can see here is a uh, very choppy uh, VR, not because of a graphics card, actually. The graphics card is a RX. As an AMD RX 6600 XT, which is eight gigabytes worth of VRAM, so it's not it's not a VRAM issue, it's not a graphics card issue. But as you can see there, um, the world wasn't loading in correctly. Now you may also notice some green lines. Uh, that was the Guardian area, because the headset I'm using is a Oculus Rift. Yes, I said Oculus. Rift, so we're talking about the first major VR headset that was available for the masses. Um, this wasn't working as effectively as it could be because I had to do some jiggery poke with some software. Uh, I came to the installing Open HMD or open head mount display to attempt to get this to work. Now, that didn't really assist with getting this working. Now, the reason why that is, is because it's still asking for Windows software and the such that it can't get access to through this because for some reason, um, I was having issues getting the headset to be recognized by steam now it is possible that because of the age of the headset and also the fact it requires uh oculus software aka mm, it needs meta so you can then use the quest because that's what that's realistically what's the oculus software is designed for the fact that my headset still has support after all of this time is a miracle within itself but the Oculus Rift does not have support for just pick up and run inside of Steam VR, which, as you can see here, this is what this is. Because if it did, there may still be a ground. There may, that blackness would be a flaw, not not nothing. So that choppiness there you just saw that was the world stop loading for a second and just had a moment with itself where it went uh, and decided not to work now it is possible to get this working as you can see here it i'm using it but the issue being is because of the age of the headset and the fact that steam just kept throwing issues that didn't have a proper code uh is uh code 190 i believe it was something like that um, this doesn't have a proper error code, meaning no matter what I tried, it was always saying, your headset has not initialized, even though I had this. So, in theory, and in limited practice, it does work, as you can see, because there's even some black lines. I, I made them in between my graphics card flickering on the display I was using, but causing the choppiness with the headset. 
Now, with that there, where it says Browse Steam, um, that wouldn't actually open up the Steam interface. Because if you've used VR and Steam before on Michael Shaft Bindos, um, you'll know if you hit the button on the right left controller, or whatever it is on your controller, but for me it's my left controller, uh, it would open up the Steam VR menu to be like, let, let you look at things. This didn't. What it, what it instead did was open up a Steam window behind the VR window, and I couldn't then exit the Steam window behind the VR window because it had opened big picture in not full screen, meaning I couldn't close that window without backing all the way out of VR and trying again because no, I wasn't getting any sort of feedback. So every time I selected a browse Steam, I opened another big picture, another big picture, another big picture. That wasn't full, that wasn't full screen. And it just... Another error, another error, another error. I tried it several times and in frustration. You know how you click things a lot in frustration. Well, I had like 15 error windows open. And that's why. Because I could not get any sort of tangible input. Now, unfortunately, this is the best I can do for VR at the time being. Because I don't have a Valve supported headset. You know, Valve is Steam, Steam is Valve, one and the same. But I don't have an index, and indexes are very, very, very expensive. And that's not something I'm going to be entertaining for quite a while. If you had an index, it's entirely possible it would be supported straight off the bat because of the Linux capabilities. But in this state, anything less than an index wouldn't work. I can confirm my Rift, my Oculus Rift, not Rift S, not anything else, it's just Rift, the first one that came available. It just does not want to play a ball. So unfortunately, we're left here with this. But proof of concept is very much proof of concepty, but it just about works. So there's that to it. So take it, take this with a grain of salt. Just be very careful with them. For yeah, it does work. Only just so. Anyway, that has been follow up from last week's video. I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you like the video. Dislike the button if you uh, hit the dislike button if you dislike the video. Uh, they both work, or even though you can only see one of them. I'd like to thank you much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are. I have been Nick. Whenever you whenever you use whenever you use Linux, don't panic. Goodbye.